Welcome to Uncle's Channel. Thanks for watching today. And let's talk about the cheese both stages of Ludwig the Accursed in Bloodborne. Now, there's going to be an AI glitch where you really don't have to do any fighting at all except for a roll. And if you can roll, you can win this battle. Now, once again, this is one of these cheeses that I wish I had thought of on my own, but this comes to us from Giant Cookie Jar as well as Blade working together on these two strategies. And um, I'm going to add my own little twist in it here as well. If you like, check out either one of their channels. Some great Bloodborne and Elden Ring content for each. But let's go ahead and get to the strategy here. Now, first off, you are going to have to have a weapon that has the rapid curse effect on it. You can do this by attaching certain uh, gems into your weapons. If you only have one gem, the strategy will work okay. You'll have to do a minimal amount of fighting. If you have at least two gems, uh, you're guaranteed to have the battle done with zero amount of fighting except for the roll. But so if you have one, we'll go through that. If you have two, even better, we'll go through that as well. But let's head on over to the boss arena here. Now, when you get to the fall gate, you don't just go for the fall gate. We're going to do our little wall glitch here like we do sometimes. And of course, you're going to stand on the right side of the wall here. And the best way I go about this is just simply do a very slow walk next to the right wall, barely moving forward of every single step and just click an X at the same time. And eventually by doing that, you're going to hit the exact point where you can go through the fall gate and a wall at the same time and you'll be stuck inside the wall here and at that point you can just start rolling and if you roll 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 enough you'll eventually sort of get out of the wall and you'll be in the boss arena with an ai glitch and there's no attack is going to happen now sometimes you'll fall through the floor here and if that happens just x out of the game come back in don't move at all press x you'll go through the wall the same glitch and try rolling out of the wall again and eventually you'll get into the boss arena ai will be glitched and you'll be doing this cheese correctly the other option is get as far away from the fall gate as you can while still being able to activate the fall gate. One step back, you couldn't. One step forward, you could. And face the right wall, get all the way next to the right wall, and then begin to angle yourself little by little to the left until you have the option to enter the fall gate, go in, you'll still get stuck in the wall, and you have to roll and eventually get out of it. Either way, you want to get through it, stand in this general area, get through the edge of the wall, just watch the video, <laughs> you can get through the wall. Now, once you get in here, Ludwig is completely frozen. Just simply AI is glitched out. Now, you can attack him and he will eventually get through stage one if you just simply attack, but then you have to fight stage two. So we don't want to fight any stages here though. So get out your rapid poison equipped weapon. The one that you got the gym in there for rapid poison. Then you want to get to the back hind quarters of Ludwig here and you're going to start rolling. And you're just going to roll and you're going to roll and you're going to roll and you're going to roll. And the more blood gems that you have in there, the faster this roll is going to go. If you only have one blood gem in there, it's going to be about 20 minutes of rolling. I'm not kidding. It takes forever. If you have two blood gems in there, it's going to take you about five to 10 minutes of rolling. A whole lot better. If you have three blood gems, if you're like super lucky, even faster. But I never had more than two for these particular videos. And so, of course, if you have two in there, if you just roll for about that five to 10 minutes after that, watch the cutscene. Don't skip through the cutscene. Watch the cutscene. And when the cutscene is over, he'll just simply die. Battle completely finished. Zero combat required. Now, if you have one blood gem equipped when the cutscene is over, you will have just a small sliver of health on him there. And you're going to have to run up there, get a few slices in, and you'll have him defeated probably before he can even attack at you. And, of course, you'll have him defeated that way. Obviously, it's better if you have two blood gems equipped. Uh, but if you only have one with rapid poison, you can still do it that way as well. And it's a very easy victory either way. So, basically, glitch for the wall there. Have your weapon equipped of at least one, hopefully two, uh, rapid poison effects on it. And then just simply roll into him and you have him defeated probably first try doing this particular strategy. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other Bloodborne cheese and strategy videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play. Just simply have a great rest of the day.